Chicopee Police Department conducted an exercise this morning with other first responders and the military. It focuses on physical fitness and conditioning. 22 News reporter Jack Wu is live with how this collaboration of the department is preparing for a new kind of threat. Sierra Nick, while this type of catastrophe isn't something we worry about on a daily basis, officials say it's not out of the question and they want to be prepared. The Chicopee Police Department hosted an electromagnetic pulse response exercise this morning. The goal was to create a response plan in the event an EMP attack took place in Massachusetts. An EMP is a pulse of electromagnetic energy that destroys most electronics and communications. Chicopee Police Chief Patrick Major described the impact of having many different departments at this exercise. As you look around the room, the, the stakeholders, the players that are involved there, and each person with their own experience kind of lend credence to exactly what would happen in that scenario. While an EMP attack may sound like something out of a movie, both first responders and military officials think that it is a very real threat. And they say that the key to getting through this threat starts with the community. Without communications and electricity, many residents would have no way of contacting local authorities. This impact would be even more severe in more rural areas. Colonel Greg Buchanan with Westover Air Reserve Base said this event shouldn't be viewed negatively. It's not to scare the community. This is all about prevention. If we can think about this right now as holistically as a community and looking at it from a community resiliency perspective, in the long run, in the unlike event this does happen, we're more well prepared in, to, to execute the mission. EMPs can also occur in nature, especially during times of heavy solar activity and also during lightning strikes. Working for you, I'm Jack Wu, 22 News.